Unit 14, Section 3. Uh, in this section, we'll take a look at the uh, red, green, and brown algaes. Um, first, we'll look at the chlorophyta division, which are the green algaes. Green algaes are the ancestors of all green plants. Um, there are many forms of green algae, again, unicellular, both modal and non-modal, colonies, filaments, both branched and unbranched, tubular forms, and sheets. We'll take a look at some of these. <clears throat> the structure of green algae um, begins to have resemblance to plants. Um, remember that the cell walls of uh, the diatoms were composed of silicon, the cell walls of uh, the uh, blue-green algaes um, had a, uh, uh, you know, like a polypeptide uh, section. In green algae, we find that most have cell walls containing cellulose. And cellulose is what we find in the cell walls of green plants. Um, they also all contain chlorophyll in chloroplasts. The uh, chloroplasts are bound by double membranes. And remember, those probably came from encapsulated cyanobacteria. All of this gives them a green color. This photograph shows a branching filament type green algae. This would be very close to microscopic, but you can sort of make up, make out here the uh, you know, divisions that might be uh, individual cells. Uh, this next slide here um, shows a uh, colonial green algae made up in this sphere of many cells. You can see flagella coming out. Here's uh, Chlamydomotus. It's a unicellular algae. So a lot of forms, and so far the ones that we've looked at here have been uh, microscopic. Uh, next, we'll look at some that are a little larger and have structures that we may be familiar with. Um, Ulva is also known as sea lettuce. It's a multicellular algae, and it attaches to rocks by means of something called a holdfast, which is a root-like structure. Now, keep in mind this differentiation between the parts of uh, an algae's body, the, the, the thallus, um, is not as dramatic as in green plants. There, there's not a huge amount of differentiation, but you can see at least some in some of the green uh, algaes. Um, some of the other algaes look even more dramatically uh, different. So here's sea lettuce. It forms these, these leaf-like um, structures and um, you know, barely visible down here, you can see the structures. There's a little better view on this side over here. Um, the holdfasts that keep them connected to the rocks. Next, we'll take a look at some of the red algaes. The red algaes contain the most familiar seaweeds to humans. Um, they're mainly large multicellular marine forms. That means they live in salt water. Marine means salt water. So they're mainly large multicellular marine forms, uh, usually as highly branched filaments. 
They occur mainly in coastal waters, uh, shallower waters, often attached to rocks. So if they're going to be attached to something, um, you know, the deeper water is, is not where you're going to find them. They need to be able to get up into the light, even though they're a reddish color. Um, they can have, uh, uh, they, they carry on photosynthesis. Um, there are uh, some species that occur in fresh water, but most occur in warm tropical waters. Here's one called Porphyra, and you can see it here. And you can kind of get an idea of this, uh, you know, branching kind of habit. And you can see why they're called red algaes. Here's another type, Laurentia. Uh, typical of uh, branched filaments. And with this red color. But you can see here a lot of green showing through um, in the main stem area making them capable of photosynthesis. Uh, next we'll have a look at uh, brown algae, Theophyta, um, includes the kelps and the rockweeds. These are the most complex algae in terms of structure. Uh, the simplest ones are highly branched filaments, as we saw in the previous red algae. Um, that representing a more complex um, red algae. Here, that structure is the simplest of the brown algaes. Um, and the most complex really start to look more like land plants. Um, kelp is a type of brown algae. They have a holdfast that holds them to rocks and the substrate in the water, a structure called a stipe, which functions like a stem, and a structure called a blade, which functions like a leaf. And here we see uh, kelp. And in the middle of all of this, there'll be that stipe. Here you can see some blades. And not visible in the picture are the holdfasts. So this very much looks like a uh, land plant. Fucus or rockweed is another brown algae and uh, has maybe even more similarity to land plants. Uh, the blades start having these crenellations or indentations or toothing on the edge like many uh, land plant leaves have. Uh, it, the, the overall structure has that uh, land plant look. So we've looked at overall the, the major groups of algae, noted that their photosynthesis can range in size from a single cell microscopic thing to something as huge as the kelps, which can be hundreds of feet long. Next, we'll take a look at uh, algae in our diet and some harmful algae.